SkyBuilder Cloud um, is designed for people to go build niche apps, okay? So in a minute, I'm going to go build an app on Rihanna. It's going to be a Rihanna. For guys, you don't know, Rihanna is a, a pop singer. It's really, really popular. Billions of people love her music, okay? Um, I'm going to go build a niche app on Rihanna, all about Rihanna, all the people that love Rihanna. Um, and, and I'm going to build that with SkyBuilder Cloud. And what I'm going to do in my example is I'm going to go upload that to the, um, to the Android store, and I'm going to make money on that via ad mob and via push notifications. I'm probably going to give it away for free. So this is the short, sweet, simple way where you know, a customer shows up, they go and buy SkyBuilder, and they're like, okay, great, what do I do now? Um, you know, fast as possible, no effort, no nothing. We're going to have them use SkyBuilder SMB. We're going to have them build a niche app, and then we're going to have them submit it to the Android store. Now, the first question in your mind is going, well, what about the App Store? What about the App Store? It's hard to get in. Are they going to accept these apps? Yeah, yeah, we know the question. We, we, believe me, we know it. Okay. Um, the thing is, is if you're building um, a niche app, like with SkyBuilder Cloud, and you're going to try to submit it to the App Store just off the shelf, um, you're going to have to go through some rounds of submission with them. Um, that's just that's just the reality of thing. There's no magic push button uh, creator that's going to go and get niche apps approved in the App Store. So um, if your if your customer follow directions and don't really know what's going on, we have a whole other path for them. We're not even going to tell them to go and put these on the App Store because we know they're going to get denied at first and then they're going to get frustrated and we don't want that. So we're going to guide them to put them on the Android Store and we found through AdMob and um, push notifications you can actually do quite well with monetization. We kind of consider it um, these niche um, these niche apps on the An Android Store MFA 2012 um, for those of you that know what MFA is made for apps. For SMB it's essentially the same thing but we have templates for people to go build apps for like you know, real estate agents, dentists, you know, that, that, kind of, that kind of thing, all this sort of small business thing. And we go and give them training on how to go out there and get a client and charge them 500 bucks or charge them 2000 bucks to build the app for them. Um, and it's very, very cool stuff. And we don't charge the people per app that they build, which is very, very cool. Um, we just simply go and charge them for the license and they can go and build unlimited apps uh, based on their apps. And that's a huge thing. If you look around the market, look at similar things. Um, it's a total no brainer. We give them unlimited apps it's like bam. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and show you the app building uh, dashboard. You know, Sky Builder Cloud, it kind of launches in a new window. Okay, this is your basic dashboard. You can see here, app dashboard, create a new app. You know, do I want to edit some of my old apps or preview some of my old apps? So an old Steve McQueen fan, for those of you guys old enough to know who Steve McQueen is, or cool enough, he was the king of cool back in the day. Um, there's also the Apple profile. Um, I'm not going to go through this right now. Um, but you know, um, but I'll just show you that um, we've designed it so people that don't have Macs can go and submit um, to the App Store through our Apple configuration. Um, and there's no per fee, per app fee submittal or anything like that. It's just, it's just basically use this and you don't have to have a Mac. So for people that don't have Macs, we make it very, very simple. Um, just follow the directions, okay? So let's go ahead and create a new app right now. I'm just going to try to be this brief. Um, I'm sorry, there's a little blank space for the training videos in. Those will be on later today. Um, we're, we're putting training videos on each one of the pages so um, the clients can go and um, can go can go through them each. Okay. So um, the first thing we're going to do is um, enter the title of the app. So I'm going to remember I was going to do on Rihanna. So I was like Rihanna exposed. Okay. Um, so app descriptions all about Rihanna. Okay. And then we need an app icon. I just so happen to have a little Rihanna icon right there. Wow, go figure. And, you know, do I want this for iPhone or Android? Um, again, since I must want to get this up really, really quick, I'm just going to do it for Android for now, okay? And that's how we're going to recommend the customers to start, okay? Um, next thing is, you know, like Rihanna. Rihanna Exposed 2012. This is going to be what's on the splash screen. And then... What photo do we want? Oh, look, I have another Rihanna photo waiting. And why do I have all these photos of Rihanna in my hard drive? Rihanna and there's Steve McQueen up there, okay? Um, yeah. And then we're just going to go hit save there. And now this is where the cool stuff starts in the app builder. We get to go and select which modules we want to add. So, you know, you can see here news keyword. So I can put in any sort of keyword for news, um, and it's going to go automatically go and pull news for that. Um, for you know, for Twitter, for YouTube, you can see we have a, you can do a search by keyword or via account. So I can put a keyword, so I can go search for anybody talking about Rihanna, or I can just put in Rihanna's account and have that linked up 
uh, directly here. Um, I have local news, local events, local deals, which is going to be keyword targeted, but locally to the excuse me to the person uh, where their actual phone is. That we have that and GPS coupons. The one of the important reasons why we put this in is if you go and put localized content into your app. You know that uses you know the uh, the phone's localization features. What we found is the um, app stores you know they're a lot more likely to go ahead and accept that app and, and get your people accepted. So we put those in there and we encourage the, uh, your clients in the training to go ahead and uh, to go ahead and use that. So I'm just going to pick some and here's some other stuff. If you're doing like local business marketing, you can have push notification. I mean you can have a contact form, web pages, opening hours. We have click to call, click to email, and there's ad mob ads ads down there and air push ads which is a uh, push notification pay network which is very very cool stuff okay so um, let's just pick news Twitter uh, YouTube photo gallery um, I'm not gonna do local news or events because probably not so much for Rihanna again it just really depends what you want to do there's you know different things um, um, we can do push notifications for example uh, photo gallery let's just do ad mob as well um, so why not we'll do push no I'll leave off push notifications for now and additional WYSIWYG tabs where people can go and put in like dynamic content or something um, do I get blog in there because if we do a blog we can actually get a feed yeah I'm gonna do a blog feed in there okay I'm just gonna click Save uh, master keyword uh, well Rihanna okay uh, master address um, this isn't applicable for Rihanna app so because we're not we don't want to drive them back we have a bonus which we're going to be giving some customers um, called um, list building explosion and that's how to go use these apps in order to go build their lists if that's the case we're going to want to stick in you know what URL we want to go redirect the people to to go and opt in or they can actually go paste their opt-in code directly in there for now I'm just gonna leave it blank um, just click Save and continue okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the little customize button here um, and you can see it's already filled in the keyword and we can go ahead and change the icons here we have like a bazillion icons that we've went and pre-installed and you know these are the icons that like go down at the bottom of your iPhone um, or your Android so let's just find one that's cool for news for Rihanna it looks like a little news thing okay and we're just going to go save and continue and then you can see here it's giving us a little cursory preview of um, you know what happens for, for the for the news feed okay look Rihanna escaped the London hotel fire isn't that really, really cool um, all this different stuff okay um, <laughs> okay anyways so it's funny when you read about Rihanna news okay so we're just gonna go return to the we're gonna go return to the tab list there let's just go do the same thing for Twitter um, it's keyword search or user account I think Rihanna's user account is pretty cool so let's just do save and reload and you can see it's gonna dynamically show in there what you know Rihanna's user account um, you can see these little scroll bars here um, those won't show up in the actual app because obviously we can't have a touch screen but just on the on the internet preview that's what we see there okay let's go back to the the tab list uh, photo search uh, Rihanna I mean we can do a little text and description right this is just a, a general um, keyword search from from Twitter so I mean that's, that's essentially what you're getting you could also go and put photo groups from Twitter in there as well there's Rihanna in concert I guess in Germany or something like that okay and next thing YouTube search again the same thing we can go and search um, we can search by keyword or by account so this is you know obviously all the Rihanna videos so they can go watch it on their phone okay um, um, blog feeds um, this is very very cool this is actually cool I wouldn't have one right here actually um, oh, there it is ultimate Rihanna RSS and we'll show your customers how to go find and search for really really good feeds okay so we simply just go put that in there um, and it's gonna go automatically display display the blog feeds okay um, give that a second to load so you can see you know what, what we've done here is we're, we're creating there it is okay Rihanna leaves her hotel and went to the gym that's fantastic okay but for people that love Rihanna they care about this stuff oh on June like the other day Rihanna left her hotel wearing red okay people that love Rihanna want to know this and you're giving them um, the information okay so what we've essentially done um, in all those one two three four or five different things that we've done is we've created um, a Rihanna fan app it's for people that love Rihanna that want to keep updated with Rihanna and want to go and have all the information in the same place you're like okay great great so how are my customers gonna make money with this okay well we can we can make money in two ways we can go and charge for the app for people to download it however we don't recommend that you know generally unless you know you have your own special strategy our blanket strategy is you give these away for free 
and you go and monetize via ad mob and push notifications, okay, which can do pretty well. Now, for some of the, you that are in the game, you say, well, you know, I've tried ad mob and the results aren't great in it. Well, that's because you can't go build an app in 10 minutes, okay? So, you know, if you went and, you know, if you went and spent, you know, $500, $100 building an app and then ad mob only brings you in, you know, five dollars a day you're know, like okay great well, that's, that's a loss however if you spend 10 minutes bringing building an app and AdMop goes and brings you in five dollars a day you're like damn i'm gonna go build 20 more apps i'm gonna get my outsourcer to go build a bunch of apps do you see my point so so you need to reframe yourself if you use AdMop. i know um it does make money and like that and we also have the push pay push notification networks and you can also do your own push notifications on there which is very very cool so in terms of AdMob, um, let me just go ahead and put in my AdMob ID here. Uh, we're just doing one in Android, um, so let's just type that in there. And then just put a, a filler in for AdMob for publish for iOS. Do we want it at the top or the bottom? I like them at the top, okay? Okay, and then we're just going to go return to tab list. And um, save and continue. Um, you know, re reorder the stuff. You know, what order do you want it in? Um, save and continue. Very, very cool stuff. And here is your preview. Up oh, there's the baby, Rihanna. And here is a preview of what our app looks like. Um, you know, and you know, if this was a local business app here on the front page, we'd have like click, we could actually have a link right up here on the front page saying click to call or click to email or other different things. But in this app, we didn't because it's just an inch app. Okay, so instant access to everything Rihanna. There's, you know, that, that tab brings you to the Rihanna blog. Um, wait for that to go and load. Um, you know, Rihanna, Rihanna videos, you, you know, you know the drill, you know the drill. I mean, so what we've done in just a few minutes in under 10 minutes, we've built a full fledged niche app. Now your customers, um, you know, the ones who, you know, are just trying to figure out what's going on in the internet and just want something that works. Um, they're going to do well with this by following our directions, by going, creating the niche apps. Okay. And the customers who, who know what they're doing and they're, you know, they're advanced and they know what to do with this. They're going to ravage this toolkit and they're like, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this. Okay. Um, you know, then we're just going to go build app. Um, you know, we can do a preview so we can load it directly under Androids or we can do a release build, or we can just go preview it there online. Okay. So that, um, you know, and then there's the app, then obviously there's the Apple profile and such. Okay. So that in a nutshell, is Sky Builder 